of the things I wanted to do in this video is try to evaluate these claims of racism. Now, I'm not going to uh, say that Donald Trump is the best speaker, uh, per se, but is racism, is claiming he's a racist actually a valid argument? Well, here's where I'm going to uh, use a definition. This definition comes from the Oxford Dictionaries. And because we're using, because many of who claim um, he's racist are using, he's racist, are using it as a noun, I'm going to use uh, the noun uh, uh, definition. A person who shows or feels discrimination or prejudice against other races or believes that a particular race is superior to another. Now, I can say this as calmly and as collectively as I can. He may have kicked off people of other races, but his whole platform of law is equal, equal uh, sight, equal, equal um, interpretation of the law of every one. So um, that in itself defines him as not a racist. Now, here's where it gets really interesting is I think we're going to have to look at a different word. And this is to a, uh, to understand um, there is a difference of proper word use. Um, Here's the definition, non-definition of a bigot. A person who is intolerant toward those holding different opinions. Well, I don't really think Donald Trump's that either. I think many of those who are on the other side of the uh, issue here are bigot. Because if you try to have an honest conversation, Look at the racist. But, here's where I believe Donald Trump fits in with any uh, particular uh, situations uh, when we talk about things is a partisan. There's two, there's two uh, nouns. A strong supporter of a party, cause, or person. He is a strong supporter of a cause. Uh, and two, a member of an armed group formed to fight secretly against an occupied force, particularly operating in, uh, in the occupied Yugoslavia, Italy, and parts of Eastern Europe during World War II. Now, he obviously is on the number one definition, not the noun definition, but not in the number two. Now, prejudice, the adjective usage, prejudice in favor of a particular cause also fits. So, we have a little dilemma here. Can you claim a rude-mannered man is equal to being racist? Well, if you're using the words properly, no, it does not work that way. But, it seems we have gotten out of hand with 
in proper word usage. We need to go back to our dictionaries and read the definitions before we start making outlandish claims. So, here is a end message to the, um, uh, I hate saying that the way I'm going to, but to the Trump Trump group. Call him a partisan, not a racist. He is not a racist. There is no evidence of racism whatsoever there. As I studied his positions, platform situations, I feel strongly that you belittling him as a racist, racist is racist in itself because you do not stop to think that he could just be ill mannered. And the only reason why I decided to do this video is to accurately depict what the issue really is. He is ill mannered. He is to a degree hot tempered. But that is not the same as being racist. That is just a uh, personality trait. And to be honest, I probably would be getting sick of people calling me racist too if I was an issue. Now, to be clear, I am not a uh, I am still an undecided person. So this does not help your cause as a group to get, get my, me persuaded to uh, support you. You have trashed your reputation with me in Costa Mesa. I will not support a candidate backed by the so-called Fuck Trump movement until that movement shows a level of maturity. The Never Trump movement, I would, if they got somewhere with it, I would have been behind them. But of all logical sense, there is no way that this is going to stop. So, you um, put me in the corner, a very awkward corner as an undecided individual, like, what is the civility? I say, you protesters need to grow up. Your form of protest is doing nothing but uh, pushing people further toward Trump. And I doubt that that's your intention. You are actually showing them, the nation, that Trump does have a a, a, a credible uh, story, even if that it was not your intent. So I will suggest stopping that form of protest and just calmly protesting on the damn sidewalk. I'm not saying you don't have a freedom to protest. I'm saying you have a freedom to protest as long as it's not infringing on the safety of others. That is where the Constitution is clear. The peaceably assemble. Once you quit the peaceful assembly, you have forfeited your liberty 
to assemble according to uh, the Bill of Rights of the Constitution. You must be in a peaceful situation. You need to stop this violent malarkey and this danger zone situation. But I guess this is all I can say. Goodbye, and I hope you figured out what was said. And have a nice day.